hi children today we are going to learn about multiplication okay uh, already we have studied about addition and subtraction now we are going to learn about multiplication so before that let me tell about the signs okay so that you can understand which sign you have to place before the product what do you mean by product nothing but multiplication answer answer of multiplication is called product okay so now let us see which sign you have to place before the product okay first case in first case when there are two positive integers when there are two positive integers you have to multiply the number as a whole number and you have to place the positive sign before the product okay you have to place the positive sign before the product example positive 4 into positive 2 okay Yes. So what you have to do? You have to multiply this four and two as a whole number. Four into two. Four twos are eight. And here, both the way you can find positive sign. So place the positive sign before the product. Understood now? Plus into plus, it becomes plus only. Okay. Positive into positive is positive. Let us see the second case. This is the first case. In second case, when there are negative signs. Negative into negative, it becomes positive. Sign will become positive. Example, I go with the same example. Minus four into minus two. Okay, first what we will do? We will forget about the sign and we will multiply only the whole numbers. Four and two we will multiply. Four twos are eight. Okay, now what you have to do? Now you have to place the sign. Minus into minus, it becomes plus. So place the positive sign before the product. Understood now? Minus into minus is because plus. Keep it in mind. Plus into plus plus minus into minus plus. Okay. Let us see the next case. See when there are one positive integer and one negative integer are there, then you have to place the symbol negative. The product will be negative integer. How? When there is plus and minus symbol, you are multiplying. You will have to write the negative symbol itself. Example: positive five into minus one. Okay. First, what we will do? We will multiply this as a whole number. Forget about the sign and multiply as it is. Five and one. Five one is five. Five ones are five. Then what you have to do? You have to place the symbol minus here. When there are two negative, I am sorry. When there are different signs are there, plus and minus signs are there, you have to place minus symbol. What you have to do? You have to place minus symbol. Next case. What is the next case? When there is a negative integer and a positive integer, same like this but in reverse order. That's all. So when there is a negative integer and one positive integer, answer will be the negative one. Answer will be the negative one. Example: minus six into plus two. Okay, six two zero. Six two zero. What we will do? We will forget about the sign and we will multiply only the whole number. Six two zero twelve and place the minus symbol before the product. Understood now? So plus into plus. Is plus minus into minus is also plus plus into minus 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 into plus minus. This is what you have to understand. Okay, so this is very very important, children, in the multiplication. You should not forget about the sign. I hope you understood this. Okay, okay. Let us discuss the properties of multiplication. Let us discuss the properties of multiplication. Before that, I would like to ask you: Do you remember the properties of addition, children? Yeah, I hope yes, because they are very very important. Even even the multiplication properties of multiplication also very important. Otherwise, you can't work out the sum under multiplication. Okay? Yes. So in addition, what is the first property we discussed there? Closer under subtraction and closer under addition. Here also same properties we are going to discuss once again. Properties of multiplication properties.
properties of multiplication here the first property is closure under multiplication closure under multiplication what this property says this property says that when you are multiplying when you are multiplying two integers you will get the answer also integer product will be also a integer product also will be a integer example minus 5 a integer into 2 plus 2 so multiply minus 5 into 2 is 10 minus 10 which is also an integer understood now yes so what you have to do here when you are multiplying two integers you will get the answer also an integer so this property is known as closure under multiplication the sum when you are multiplying the two integers answer also an integer let us see the next property what is the next property next property is commutative property commutative property so what is this commutative property this property says that when you are multiplying the two integers you will get the same answer when when you are for multiply them in any order example a into b is equal to b into a that what this says that you can multiply them in any order you can multiply them in any order you will get the same answer you will get the same answer example minus 5 into 6 so what is the answer 5 6 4 30 1 is minus and 1 is positive so i will place the minus symbol here i got minus 30 here what is the value of b 6 what is the value of a minus 5 minus 5 multiply 6 5 4 30 and place minus symbol can you see here both the side you got correct answer this is 30 both the side you got correct answer so that means you can multiply them in any order so this property is known as commutative property understood now what that commutative property says you can multiply the integers in any order but you will get the product same you will get the product same say for there are two integers a and b you can multiply them a into b first or else you can multiply them b to a you will get the same product understood now let us see the third property okay so multiplication by multiplication by zero okay multiplication by zero what this property says this property says that when you are multiplying an integer by zero you will get the answer zero nothing but let us take one integer as a a a into zero is equal to zero or minus a into zero is equal to zero when you are multiplying an integer either positive or negative you will get the answer same when you are multiplying with zero this property says that multiplying an integer with the zero it gives the product as zero understood now whether it is positive or negative i hope you understood this point okay fourth fourth property multiplicative identity multiplicative identity what this property says when you are multiplying any integer by 1 you will get the answer as same integer example a into 1 is equal to a when you are multiplying any integer by 1 you will get the same answer that is a into 1 is equal to a this property says that multiplicative identity or this property says that multiplicative identity So we move on to the next property. Yes, associative associative properties. 
associative properties it says when there are three integers let us take a b and c when you are multiplying this you can group them in any order what i will do i will group this two here and a into b into c here i will group this b and c so that you will get the same answer you can multiply them in any order so that you will get same product there you can group them also in any order and then you can multiply with the remaining digits also you will get the same answer let us check it out for example a is minus 2 b is 4 And C is three. Let us check it out. This what we have to do. So I will substitute the values like this. Here it is minus two into four. I group them here into three is equal to minus two into here what it comes four into three. Yes. Now what I have to do here? See. First, I will multiply this inside the group. Okay, two four are eight. Eight here it is minus symbol, so I will place minus here into three. And here comes minus two as it is into four three are twelve. Okay, four three are twelve. Now let us multiply eight three are twenty four and place minus symbol. Here two twelve plus twenty four and place minus symbol. Did you get the same answer in both sides? Yes. Even in the left hand side and even in the right hand side, we got the same answer. So this property says that you can club them up and then you can multiply also. You will get the same answer. I hope you understood. Okay. Let us. This distributive property. Distributive property. Let us see what you mean by distributive property. Okay, a is equal to three, b is equal to minus one, c is equal to four. We will take the values. So. Just example. Now, just think about that. There are three integers, say a, b, c. There are three integers a, b, c. What I will do? Here, this property says that a into b plus c is equal to a into b plus a into c. That means this property says that you can expand and then you can add the product of two also, so that you will get the same answer here. So what you have to first you can club them and then you have to add, then you have to multiply with the integer remaining. You will get the same answer, or else you can expand this as a a into b plus a into c. Then also you will get the same answer. Let us take the example here. A is equal to three, B is equal to minus one, and C is equal to four. Okay. I will substitute these values now here. Three into minus one, that is plus four, and here comes three into minus one plus. What is the value of a? Three into four. Let us see how it stands for addition. This is we are doing under addition. Can you see the addition symbol here? This is under addition. We are trying now. Then afterwards we will check it out for the subtraction also. So here three into now what we have to do? Here one is positive, one is negative integer. So we have to subtract them and we have to place the symbol of the greatest number. So from four we will minus one. Four minus one it becomes three. So and I have to place the symbol. Which symbol I have to place? Positive. It is positive. Here the bigger number is the four. So I have to place the positive symbol. I am not not going to place the symbol here. I will write as it is. Now here you see. So you have to multiply three ones are three and one is positive, one is negative. So minus three here plus. Here, what is what will happen here? Here, you have to multiply three four are two 
Anwar. Yes. Now multiply here. Three threes are nine. I got positive nine. And here one is positive, one is negative. So from this two, I'll, I have to subtract three so that I will get nine here. And I have to place this sign, the number with the positive sign. So here positive nine and here also positive nine. See here both the answer I got same. So this stands good for addition. Distributive property is good for addition. So we check it out what about for subtraction whether it is good or not. Yes. So under subtraction it will come like this. So A into same we will write A into B minus C. Instead of addition we will do subtraction here. Okay. A is equal to A into B minus A into C. <laughs> okay. Yes. So we will go with the same values now. So A is equal to 3 into B is minus 1 minus 4. Okay. It comes in, inside the bracket. Into A is equal to 3 minus 1 minus A is equal to 3 into 4. Okay. Yes, let us do this now. So, 3 as it is. Now, see inside the bracket, what are in minus symbol? When there are two negative integers, what we will do? We will add them up. What we will do? We will add them up and we will write the negative sign or we will write the numbers. Which one is the greatest? Same sign we will write. So, what we will do? We will add them. 4 plus 1 is 5. And here, which symbol we have to write? It is minus 5. Okay. Yes. So here. Multiply 3 1 are 3. Which is minus 3. And what happens here. Here it is minus 3 4 are minus 2 are. Okay. Let us multiply this. 3 5 are 15. And I have to place the minus sign here. Here. 2 are also in minus symbol. So we have to add them and we have to write the symbol of the greatest number. 3 plus 2 are 15 and we will write go with the symbol with the greatest number. So that is minus 15. Did you see here? Both the side also you got the same answer. Minus 15 minus 15. That means distributive property is true for addition as well as the subtraction. Distributive property is true for addition as well as the subtraction. I hope you understood this properties of multiplication. Thank you children.